Hey, Soul Family. Happy Sunday to you guys. I hope that everyone is doing uh, great on this Sunday afternoon or whatever time of day it may be, wherever you are in the world. If you are a returning subscriber, I'd like to say to you guys, I have been away for a couple of weeks um, dealing with um, some weather-related issues here um, in Texas and Houston. We were impacted significantly by um, the hurricane just recently. So um, for days, people didn't have power. And although we got our power back significantly, or fairly quickly, um, there were still connectivity issues here um, with internet. And then, of course, we had the cyber um, outage on this past Friday. So it's just been a little bit um, challenging, to say the least. But I hope everybody is doing well. If you are new, welcome to the channel. I would like to um, ask you to... Um, hit the notification bell subscribe to the channel that way whenever I do um, Post a video or go live you will get the notification and you will know and, uh, I'm gonna get into uh, the message that I have that I um, Got from spirit and downloaded it Won't be everybody's message. So take it how it resonates, but this is a Specific message of concern um there's somebody some of you that and take it how it resonates for you it will not resonate the same for everybody um basically you have to take it how it resonates for where you are and what you're going through and what your situation is and if it does not fit please don't try to force it um but you're being called to do something and it seems that whatever this is that you're being called or drawn to do that there are many things that seem to be like everything's working against you or that there are obstacles that keep coming up that either make you feel as though this may not be something that you should be doing or trying to do or that um you're on the wrong path. The spirit is saying that is not the case. It's mostly your self-doubt that's sabotaging you. And you need to get out of your head so much about whatever this is. For some of you, um, it's a business. For others of you, it's taking a new direction in life. For others of you, um, it's a career path. And but for many of you, you may have you may be someone that is in the public eye. Or whatever this is, it may be leading you um, to a path that's in the public eye. But the Holy Spirit is saying that whatever this is, it's leading you to new abundance. There's going to be overall abundance in your life as far as your health, your wealth, your longevity. Whatever this is that you're about to undertake or you're supposed to undertake is that it is going to bring you favor in high places. There's going to be help for you from official people in high places. And you're going to gain the respect and the notoriety that you deserve. And it's going to put you in a place as an official person and put you in high places. You may have a, um, a platform of your own such as like mine. Or you may be thinking about starting one. Or you might have been thinking about starting one. But for whatever reason... Um, you're afraid to take the leap. And Spirit is saying that you need to get out of your way, your own way. Get out of your head about this. And just basically just do it. Uh, I, I did a, a pre-pull before I, um, when I was, um, after I channeled this message. And everything is still, is coming up the same. And um, before I, I shuffled um, my lead deck and I did the pre-shuffle, it there is a definitely with the ace of cups a new beginning here for you you are being led to go in a new direction but for a lot of you you don't want to take this path because I, i'm getting here that for a lot of you you either grew up 
or you come from a very religious background and whatever this is that you're being led to do is against whatever it is that you've been um, taught to do. But you're being asked by your your angels, guys, and your spirit team and the most high to think outside of the box, to go outside of the circle. Because you're not feeling as though you're going to have support or true support from your, the, your community uh, or the people that support you. But Spirit is saying that you don't need the support of the people that are around you because the people that are around you that you consider to be community is not even your your real community. You haven't re- you haven't met your real community because the Holy Spirit is saying that support should not have to be sought after in need or desperation, but it 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 should be offered to you freely by those that believe in you and what you're doing. But there are some people in your circle or in your aura and your energy that you hold to a high regard and they don't run your life. But whatever it is that you feel about your um, how these people are, you feel as you you value their opinions or you value what it is that they think but spirit is saying that at this time in this place you need to trust the process that is being set forth on the trajectory for your life because with the world card there is a community of people that is coming in to support you there's something here that you're going to accomplish and be successful at and you're going to be able to master this and it's going to bring you great recognition Um, but right now you're letting your emotions get in the way with the page of cups. Um, you're very sensitive, but I'm speaking to someone that has a very, very keen intuition and whatever this is that's coming in for you, it's going to be greater than anything that you, I'm hearing you've ever faced or received before but you've got to have that faith to take that leap and at this time in this place and at this moment take it how it resonates for you but you're going to have to believe in yourself you're going to have to forget about the naysayers you're going to have to forget about the people that are skeptical you're going to have to forget about how people are going to view you how uh, you may come off to people because for some of you this is what's holding you back at this time because if a person or people are for you what you do or what it is that or where where you have to go a friend is one that knows who you are understands where you've been and accepts who you have become and if those are the people that you have in your your aura or your energy right now you don't need them there anyway signs that i channeled with this download were um gemini taurus capricorn libra and sagittarius take it as it resonates this may be your sign or this just may be the energies of the signs that were coming through for this message it just because it's not your sign does not mean that it's not your message if the message resonates but the sign does not the signs that were channeled do not um mean anything significant to you it may just be from the the energy that is within the message you have to learn to distinguish and determine which is which but whoever i'm speaking to you're coming in in a uh, male or female in a queen of cups energy this is somebody that is emotionally balanced um you are a good person very compassionate somebody that um you're going after you're emotionally balanced but you're going after your stability that is important to you at this time and having a solid foundation and you got to remember that you need to be open to receive you need to be open um to be nurtured at this time for what it is that you need and the healing that you need to receive because as you heal you help others to heal on this journey some of you may be i may be speaking to a healer what type of healer you are you're going to have to um consult with your angels and your spirit guides for some of you you may be uh uh 
you may be Reiki healers or you may be an intuitive healers. You may even be um, a forensic psychic. You may be someone that is a, a spiritual content creator. You may be somebody that's a spiritual influencer. Whatever it is that you are being led to do, the Most High wants you to know that there is help here for you. There is um, that your spiritual gifts are attached to a new career or a new business and you're being guided to follow this path and not fight it for many of you you are fighting this because like i said of your religious background or it goes against what you've been taught or how you were raised or how you've lived your life and you're afraid that people won't support you or people don't support you um, and you feel are you and you're feeling or you feel shunned by your community but spirit is saying again once again this is not your true community um so you're focusing for many of you on the wrong things right now and spirit is saying with the four of cups for you to um focus on your stability but not let it close you off from new opportunities that are coming in for you with um you might have been closed off you might have not been um you might have gone into hermit mode right now because you don't feel like you have a place or a true place or know your place of value right now in what it is that you're being guided to do because whatever this is that you're being guided to do um you have divine support all around you and your gifts are so prominent right now and they're coming through so um defined and well well orchestrated that they're they won't let you sleep or or rest really but not in a bad way um it's like for some of you and how you know that this is your message you're seeing some of the same events play over in from your dreams to your reality and you felt like you've been there before it's like a deja vu that's coming into you but you are being there's support all around you you've got so much creativity your self-confidence needs to be lifted and in order for it to do that spirit is saying you're gonna have to trust the process that's coming in a lot of you have been guarded against um deceit and deception because for many of you um you've suffered a lot of abuse extreme ridicule and even betrayal you've had to forgive people that didn't even genuinely accept any responsibility for the wrongs that they did to you you've had to um You've had to accept apologies that you've never received. And, and for many of you, you won't receive. But these things have built you up to where you are right now and in where you should go right now. And Spirit is saying to you that either there is some form of... Um, somebody's going to come in and tell you something, give you some information, communicate something to you that is going to help you. That's why you're being guided that you need to open up to whatever this is and not close yourself off focusing on your stability because for many of you, your stability is attached to whatever your gifts are. Whatever this is, when it comes in, it's not only going to bring you stability, peace of mind, it's also going to bring you fulfillment, satisfaction. It's going to make you happy because when you do what it is that your life purposes and whatever you've been guided to do, then you feel better, you live better, you are happier. And no matter what's going on, even though you feel like everything is coming against you right now, once you accept the journey and get on the journey, everything that has been seeming like it's coming against you, you're going to find out that it wasn't not working against you, but it was working for you. But right now, many of you have been fighting this, so you're being propelled to get on the path or the journey that you're supposed to be on right now and if you do if you don't do this you're you're going to regret it later on if you don't do this then you won't live your best life and what it is that you are born to do each of us has a mission when we come here and it's different even though we walk together as people each of us has our own separate journey. Each of us has our own separate destiny that we have to fulfill. For a lot of you, by not doing whatever this is, you don't know really what's going on. You've been a little bit perplexed about 
what's going on, how to feel. Not only has this spirit affected you spiritually, but it has also affected you physically as well. And you feel like you've been trapped. You feel like you're trapped in a um in a mental prison for some of you, in a spiritual prison for others, for others of you, you feel like you don't know what's going on. You feel like your health is in a decline because if you take it how it resonates for you because for each person it's different it will resonate for each person differently because your path is different because your gift is different because your responsibility is different but whatever it is that you feel like you're trapped by whenever you accept this and get on the journey you're going to be free from this it, you're going to realize that what is happening was not happening to you but it's happening for you and whatever this is, it is going to free you from the burdens that you have in your mind. It is going to release you from physical pain because right now your um your angels and your spirit team they're trying to get your attention, and the only way for some of you to get your attention and you take that how it resonates, they have to tap into what bothers you the most. For some of you, this is physical pain. For others of you, this is not being able to sleep at night. But there is a message that Spirit wants you to know that you are on the right path. You can't listen to what people are telling you. Because for some of you, there has been something, there has been something spiritually trying to attach itself to you. Um, there's something, this may be an entity entity that's attached to a person that you know that's close to you or this may be an entity that is trying to attach itself to you there is an end and this is not for everyone this is a very specific message and this won't be everyone's message but for some of you you've been having some very very distorted type of weird like dreams that you feel you don't know where they're coming from and you feel that this is something that you're doing or something in your mind and spirit is saying it's nothing like that this is um uh, an entity that is trying to attach itself to you um either a succubus spirit or an incubus spirit as a spiritual spouse for a lot of you you've noted you're noticing that your emotions are all over the place, up, down, hot, cold. For some of you, um, you've been um, angry. For some of you, you you find yourself in fear. But your 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 angels and your spirit team want you to know you are heavily protected at this time. But you cannot run from who you are. You're not going to. For many of you, you have suffered. A lot of wrongs or things that have been done to you or wrong by people that you had a lot of respect for. Um, the number 18 or the number 9 may be significant for you. For some of you, you have suffered what you feel is a great loss. Um, but there is peace here for you. Um, your spirit guides want you to know that you the, the, the course that you have to take, it is going to bring... And it calmed the storms in your life. It's going to bring peace in, in your life. You may have suffered a, a loss through um, a, a friendship. Or for some of you, this is a relationship with a family member. Or somebody that you consider to be family. But this person was seemed to be in a karmic state of mind. Causing some type of loss or burden to you. But you have had to let this go. You're being asked to submit to the will of God. Because you are connected to Source at this time. And Source wants you to know that you were born and sent here to do whatever it is that, that you're being guided to do. Like I said, for some of you, you are, and I can't make it up, you are being guided here. You are releasing burdens of tears. Because for many of you, this has been tormenting you. You know that what you're supposed to do. But for some of you, there may have even been a religious leader that has been telling you that this is not your path. But you're being warned that you need to stay away from people that don't support you on your journey. Because if what you're supposed to be doing and you're not doing it, if it's causing you physical burdens and pains, if it's causing you mental anguish, 
then you know that there's something on the other side of this that you need to look into deeper. You need to trust your own intuition. You need to learn to build up your own self-esteem. You need to believe in yourself at this time. If nobody in your community believes in you, that you call your community right now, then you need to X out this community and you need to go on your journey alone until you find out what it is or who it is that is with you and that is for you. You will find that on your path. There are more people that are going to need you. There are more people that are going to want you than the people that you already know, than the people that you've already met. And there is abundance. You will be taken care of. For many of you, you're feeling like that you're going to fall off of your square. You're not going to be able to take care of yourself because there are people that really need you, that are making it seem like you need them. But your abundance is in what it is that God is asking you to do um you can't worry about what people are thinking um for many of you you don't feel like you are worthy for many of you you feel like that your past is too dark it's too jaded but you've got to give grace to yourself forgive yourself uh, make peace with yourself because you are the you are the source of Whatever it is that you need, whatever it is that you want, and you are being backed by God, who is the greatest source of all things, because we you are connected to God directly. And what is being sent to you spiritually and told to you in your dreams, in the um, signs and the synchronicities that you're seeing every day. There is wisdom that is being directly imparted to you through channels, downloads, and dreams. This is God speaking to you out of love, letting you know that you are love, that you are God and double message of love. There is a double message of love from the Most High God, letting you know that you are loved, that you are loved, and that the love that you give It comes directly from source. That the love that you have, you need to forgive yourself because you are abundant. You are guided. You are connected directly to source. You are being granted with ancient wisdom. You are loved and you are loved and you have love coming in in abundance and you need to trust the process. There's something for some of you that you um, are holding in or holding back. Um, you're being asked to let go you're being asked to let your light shine for many of you you there is there are others that are trying to mimic or mirror you uh, there may be even people that are no longer in your life that want to come in and have a reunion with you whether this is these are lost friendships whether this is lost kinships or even a lost relationship take it how it resonates for you uh, like i said it won't resonate the same for everyone. And if it's not your message, don't force it. But um, for some of you, you have cleared out your karma. For others of you, you are dealing with somebody that is under heavy karma. And it's keeping you from realizing your full potential. And either, Spirit is saying that either there, if whoever's trying to go on this journey with you, they can't be a burden to you. They have to be a, a blessing to you, not a burden to you. If they're not for you, if they are being karmic, you're being asked to reach out to your spirit team so that you know what is for you and what is not for you. You know what is spiritual and you know what is flesh so that you know how to move spiritually and not in ego, not in pride. Um... There's something that you are learning or that the Holy Spirit is trying to teach you at this time and you are being guided to what it is. And some of you, you may not be clear on what it is that you're supposed to do, but whatever message that's coming in and whatever that you're learning for many of you, you're going to be learning very soon what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Because for some of you, you're not clear on what it is that um, you need to be doing. You, you have an idea but you're still uh, a little bit um, unsure of what it is that 
you need to be doing. But for some of you, you feel like you've suffered a great loss, but there's something that you're going to get back. There's something that is um, that you're recovering here. You may not remember who you were in your past life. You may not remember what it is that you've done, but there's something that you've done in the past that is going to be key to your future. And it's going to be, the spirit is trying to get you to recover. Uh, for a lot of you, your Akashic records, your spiritual memory, you've forgotten who you are. And there's going to be something that, or there is something that's coming in for you that you're changing your mind about, your thought process about. Um, you're having um, to reconsider a lot of things because you're having to actually go in and be very, very, very clear on a lot of things that you maybe have overlooked or didn't understand. You're having to come back and, and recommunicate some things or have some things recommunicated to you that you didn't understand or maybe that you misunderstood or that you misjudged in your past but you're being asked to trust the universe at this time trust god trust your holy spirit trust your angels have trust in yourself and trust your pathway it's time for you to stop holding on to things that no longer and people that no longer serve you it's time for you to get on your path it's time for you to release burdens it's time for you to release worries and it's time for you to be free of burdens and tears it's time for you to understand and realize that what it is that's going to make you happy, that's going to create a lasting and a strong, solid foundation for you, both physically and spiritually, uh, it's on the other side of this. There is truly something that's working out in your favor that's better for you, that is bringing in abundance for you. For some of you, you might have had health issues. You might have had some mental health issues going on, physical health issues, or there may be someone in your household that is suffering from this. By you going and doing what it is that you're supposed to do, there's no need to worry here. You have everything that you need to be your best self. All you have to do is release your burdens to God and the universe, and everything that you need is going to come in. There's better here for you. There's abundance being released to you and for you. All you have to do is, even if you don't know what to do, you have to ask your angels and your spirit guides for help. This, For some of you, this will be happen within um, the next few weeks to the next few months um, that there's going to be a great change. But you are being guided by your ancestors and your spirit team to not sit back anymore and wait for whatever it is that you need to come to you, you're going to have to get up and you're going to have to take action. You're going to have to um, make some changes. And in a year from now, whatever this is that you are being guided to do, it is going to bring you great abundance and stability. Um, it is going to be successful. Will it be challenging? Yes, it will be challenging. But at the same time, you will be successful in whatever it is that that it is that you are trying to do. Um, but the key to you being successful, Spirit is saying that there's something in your past that you're not proud of, and it's okay because we all have a past that you need to forgive yourself for. Because Spirit is saying that the Almighty God has already forgiven you for whatever this is, and it's not holding anything against you. That is a no. Whatever, if there's something that's burdening you that you can't get off your mind or there's pain on your soul, you need to meditate and ask your angels and your spirit guides to bring you the clearance or the answers that you're seeking in order to bring peace in your life. Um, but you're being asked right now at this time to hold on to hope, to keep trusting in the process and not to let go. And not to stop doing what it is that you're doing. Because for some of you, you're being asked to go outside of how it is that you operate spiritually. Because I'm getting for some of you, you are spiritual, you are intuitive, you are prophetic. But you've been, you're being asked to operate somewhere by someone uh, outside of how you operate. 
and that is not what the almighty wants you to do there are changes that are coming for you you may not want to step away from whatever this is that you're being asked to step away from in order to get on your path but on the other side of this this is going to bring changes in your life that is going to bring you happiness it's going to bring you abundance um it's going you're going to notice a significant and a very very quick and fast improvement in your overall life and your situation. If you've been going through some things right now and you've been burdened by some things, then if you want to lift these burdens or these burdens to be lifted, the most high is saying to you right now that you've got to make up your mind to step away from whatever this is that is not serving you. For some of you, this is a partnership of some type. For others of you, this is a an alliance that you have with some sort of an organization. It may be a church. Um, it may be a, a community organization. And for some of you, I'm hearing that where you are, I don't know what type of organization it is, but I'm getting cult. It's like a cult following. And you're being asked to compromise something or and it's not for, for you. And you've been put on hold. Because whatever this endeavor is, it's not meant for you. And you know deep down that it's not meant for you. But you've been trying to gain more clarity on exactly what is going on. You didn't want to act out in haste. But there's something here that you don't wholeheartedly believe in. But the only thing that has been keeping it alive or keeping this alliance together is that you believed in whoever this is that came to you but this is not going this is not for you this is not something that you should be involved in and it's highly unlikely that it will be successful but everything that's happening right now to you for you around you it's happening in perfect divine timing right now and the reason why you felt stuck or that you couldn't move is because the timing was not right and you had a very fond affection or great love for whatever this is this place uh this group of people this doesn't have to be a romantic type of love but this is a deep and a soul fulfilling love that you have for whatever it is that you do but you're being asked to look around you there are signs and synchronicities all around you leading you and guiding you to what it is that you're supposed to be doing and you have help that's coming in but you have to be open to receive for a lot of you you are givers and you're not receivers you're not used to being able to receive but you're going to have to open yourself up to be able to accept the help that is coming into you and this help is coming into you very quickly um Whatever it is, like I said, it's going to bring you an abundance of health, an abundance of wealth. Uh, um, it's going to bring you freedom. It's going to bring. It's going to change how you feel mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Um, as you go on to this new pathway, it is not going to be one that everybody a road that everybody travels. But the beaten pathway is just that. It's beaten. It's beaten down. It's worn down. There's potholes in the road. You're being asked to take the road less traveled because that is your road. The road that everybody's doing and what everybody's doing, is it for you? No, it's not for you. Um, you are going to have to stand up, though. You're going to have to make some choices. There are going to be some tough choices that you're going to have to make. You're going to have to let your yes be your yes and your no be your no. If the people that, I like I said, that you already know that they don't support you, don't worry about that. Spirit is saying right now, listen to your intuition because you've been in your discernment for what's being going, for what's being given to you. You've got to remain you got to keep vibrating high and remain positive in order to do this. You have to keep people that vibe low or that don't have your best interests or serve your best interests at heart. you got to keep these people at bay because there are opportunities that are being presented to you and for you that are only for you. And the people that are in your life that are not meant to be on this journey, it's not their opportunity. So you can't rely on the wisdom of other people at this moment. You be, you're being given wisdom that you need to follow. 
your own intuition. You can't. This is your opportunity. Other people can't tell you how to accept or not accept an opportunity that's being presented for you because it's for you. You need to ask your angels and your spirit team for guidance on what to do and not to and not and stop relying on the intuition of others or the opinions of others and the ideas of others because everything that you have in that you need to be your best you to live your best life and to do your best job on the mission that you've been given on the destiny that is for you it is already inside of you and you don't need help from you don't need to ask others because the people that are here to help you, you won't have to seek out approval. They will offer you their help. They will be here for you. You may not think that you know what to do or where to go or how to do. But like I said, everything that you need to be your best you, live your best life, and do what it is that Spirit has guided you to do, it's already in you. You're ready. For this journey, all you have to do is step outside of what you know to be familiar. You're going to have to step outside of familiar territory. You're going to have to think outside of the box. You're, you're going to have to live your life according to what's best for you and not what other people think is best for you. You're going to have to fade other people's opinions because other people's opinions is not going to get you where you need to be. It's not going to serve your best interests. And you need to make the best of everything for yourself in order to live the best, have the best, and be the best. Whatever this is that you're being asked to do, it's going to start to come into fruition for you very, very quickly within the next few weeks. For some of you, you're trying to resolve something in your mind or you're trying to, um, yeah, resolve it within your mind. You're trying to quiet the voices in your head. You need to work on your shadow. For many of you, you you're still healing your shadow. Healing your shadow is a constant, ongoing journey. Um, your shadow is here to work with you and work for you, not against you. But you cannot operate or work with a broken shadow or a shadow that has not been healed. Uh, but you are going to find an ultimate peaceful resolution for whatever it is that's keeping you off of the journey. It will resolve itself within a few weeks because you're ready to go. And it's time for you to get on your pathway. For whoever I'm speaking to today, I hope that this message helps you. If this message resonates with you, leave me a like, leave me a comment, um, and let me know. Um, if you have any questions, don't um, hesitate to ask me. I'm not the know-all, be-all, end-all, but um, I've been where many of you are right now, and it, being in that position can be very, very um, fearful. But remember this, and I had to learn this. Fear is an illusion. So, and, and people will tell you what you shouldn't do, what you can't do, what won't work for you. But don't you find yourself waking up in a regretful situation because the same things that people tell you that won't be successful for you, won't work for you, when it's their time and they've been called on the tarmac to take off, they're not gonna be listening to anything that you say or what you feel. They're gonna get on their journey. So you don't wanna look back and regret not doing what it is that you've been guided to do by the Holy Spirit. Trust the process that the Most High has you. Because if not, you'll wake up in regret, wondering why you haven't done what you've done or, or wonder why you are, you're unfulfilled or why your life isn't taking off in the direction that it should take off in. You've gotta realize that you weren't sent here or just born here for a physical experience. You are a spiritual being that's having a natural experience. But you are uh, your spirit. That's what you are. And you won't be happy doing, what, doing anything until you get on to the journey of who you truly are. 
and who you are may not resonate with everyone and that's fine uh, but you've got to do what it is that you need to do in order to reach your destiny and fulfill your purpose because you wouldn't want to have to um, live in regret and come back here and have to do this all over again once you get on your pathway you'll find that there's nothing more fulfilling than doing what it is that you're supposed to do you'll 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 realize then that the only time that you have sleep is nice that the only time that you um don't feel well is when it's when you're not doing what it is that you're supposed to do once you're doing what you're supposed to do and once you're following the lead of the most high god and once you're on this journey you won't let anything or anyone take you off if anybody gets in your way you'll get them out of your way because you'll realize that there's nothing greater than what your mission here is there are some people that are not on their journey and that's okay there's some people that you contracted with before you came into this life that have decided once they got here that they enjoy the physical experience more than the spiritual experience you can't let that stop you i don't care if that's your sister your brother your mother your father your husband your wife your significant other Whatever it is, you have to get on your own journey, on your own pathway. And you can't let anyone, anybody, or anything keep you from it. I love you guys. Remember, keep going, keep growing, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.